welcome back to day two of this Expert++ Plus Plus Invisible Ink run, where all of the missions are tiny and overcrowded. Next mission will be this Nanifab. At the moment our main problem will be that we don't have any way of dealing with armoured guards, and that will become even more of a problem once we have to do these kinds of missions. So we're going to Nanifab. Traditionally you take money to a shop, we're not doing that. Uh, we need to upgrade speed to use this cloak. And I'm also going to spend this last 1,000 upgrading hacking, again, purely a financial in investment. Uh, that gives us 100 extra credits per console, with four consoles per level, that pays itself off in two and a half missions. So it's just worth doing that, even if it means we can't buy something else at this nanofab. Um, we will get plenty of money in here, probably well over 1,000 credits from all of the console safes and guards, and let's go in. Okay, so International does the scan here. We've got a demon database with a demon on. We have a camera drone. Another console there. I can try to scan in this area. I want to know what this drone is going to do though. Just stationary. Let's see what this guard does. He's going to patrol in, which I care about. Looks like I could actually open this door and take a peek, but I wouldn't be able to get much further in, so I'm just going to move up to here. That detects a camera. Let's econ chip the console. 300 credits. I think we try to hit this camera. I can't hit it and the camera drone, which is a bit of a shame. Let's just try not to hit a demon at the same time. Okay, three guards in there. <laughs> That's our exit. Uh, some of these will be stationary. He's patrolling. He's stationary, but he'll move out of the way for this guy. And he's patrolling in through this door as well. So for now, we're okay. I'm going to put a parasite on this drone so we can explore faster. For now, we want to be hiding. We should get a chance to peek through this door next turn. I also want to steal from this guard. This should be okay. I'll be able to get through this door as well. Yep, so let's do this. That's cover. Won't be seen by this guard. We get to steal from him and get through this door. I think that's the best we can do for this turn. So let's leave it there. We have found all four guards. Obviously this camera will keep getting rehacked. Let's go exploring. So that's a couple of safes. can distract this guy into this room, so it's not completely necessary to end in cover, but I think we will be ending in cover anyway. We want to get Tony down here. So yeah, I do want to distract this guy in. We can take out his heart monitor while we're here. Hey, what was that? That means I should be safe to leave myself here. It may be worth finding out what these demons are, but it depends how many demons we need to we need to learn about. We know that there's no one walking through this door, so that's fine. Tony will be able to pin this camera drone at some point.
So I could get international through here as well. Probably not a bad plan. Got another console up there. We'll also, sorry, another safe up there, and another console here. Also demoned. But with Tony, we don't need to worry about the demons on the con on the safes. Mm, guess it was nothing. Now I do need to worry about this guy returning this way. No camera, so that's fine. 2.5 AP gets me to here, so I want to be pinning the drone on... Probably this square. Let's try the door. We've got a camera. I can't hit this camera without hitting the safe as well. Which is a bit unfortunate. Could use the cloak here. Let's just hit the safe. Saves us getting Tony this way. Rubik's. Okay, that's bad. We do have data blast though. Let's hit this with the parasite. That means we can get the console next turn. Which is good. So we're probably not going to have any... Cameras through here, otherwise we'd have detected them. We know all of the guards positions. We've got one room here with this demon database in, which we don't have another way around to. So all of the guards are patrolling in this area, which is good. This shouldn't be the objective. So this is probably the nanofab room, yeah. Okay, let's leave it there for now. So that was a little unfortunate to get a Rubik's that way. But we can take down a lot of firewalls at once with a data blast. Things are closer together because these missions are tiny. So I can do things like this, except that we're using Tony to get into these safes anyway, so that doesn't matter. These are equal. I think I'm going to give the Neural Disruptor along so that we have more inventory space to carry um, items that we can get from this nanofab. I'm going to get this one rather than the other console. There's a very slight difference in uh, how near they are to the... the how near they are to the um, doors that we want to get through. Okay, let's end the turn there. I'm not sure if I can safely run with Tony. We know that there's a room here. So I won't be able to pin this drone next turn, but that's fine because it's out for two turns. It's good to get all of this money before we use the nanofab. We have stolen from this guard. We've got another nanofab here, which we'll get a chance to have a look in. It depends what this demon is. 
I'm not going to take this guy out. It shouldn't be necessary. At least I'm not going to do it yet. Let's pass the turn there. So the extra cameras. Fortune. Okay, that's fine. One of the best demons. Should I try to hit all of these things? Should I take the, the nanofab as well, or... Let's do it. Siphon. Fine. Does nothing. Absolutely nothing to us. This will reboot devices. We're going to get more money on the next turn. I think what we should do here is just... Look in this nanofab first. Because if it gets rebooted, we will know whether we need to hack it back again or not. Oh, it did. the siphon didn't do nothing, did it? Because we had the power that we stole from the drone. But maybe we used it already, I don't remember. No. Shock Trap 3, the problem is it uses power, which we will never have. EMP Pack 1 is just not worth buying. So we're not going into, into this nanofab. I can um, data blast both of these things next turn. So let's put the parasite on this one then. And then end our turn here. That seems correct. This is safe. I'm not going to use this nanofab just yet because it will reboot some devices, including perhaps this camera. Actually, if it does reboot this camera, then I can just hit it with a data blast again. So let's use this now. No, we want to get the money from this. That's right. Okay. I think we end the mission there. End, end the... Not the mission. End the turn there, then. So this camera drone will wake up. I think we can hit all three of these with the... All four of these with the data blast. So, yeah. It's absolutely worth doing. Let's just leave it in the corner. Get the money. And take a look. Biogenic darts. Two of them. Very good. I'm not going to get another neural disruptor here. We may be able to come back and get the other biogenic dart. Two of those would be very good. I'm definitely getting one. The other option is getting another cloaking rig. So we need 500 more money. I wish you could temporarily leave this screen before the thing reboots, because I want to see how many consoles we've gotten into. We got in, in we've got one more console left over here. And we are getting lots of money out of the consoles. We've got three more guards to steal from. So there is a quite good chance that we can get into this. Get this dart. We have got all of the safes. I think I'd rather have another biogenic dart than a cloaking rig three. Armor piercing is just too important. If we don't get enough money, then we get the Cloaking Rig th 3, yeah. 
But either way, we're coming back to here, so I can safely close this. So this camera's rebooting, that one is rebooting. Both of those will want to hack again. I think we send Tony up this way then, start taking out heart monitors on these guards as we can. He's not doing anything else useful. So I can't get into here because of the camera. That's fine. I need to be protected from this camera. So this square is fine, as is this one. I need to hack both of these cameras next turn. This one's going with a parasite anyway. I'll want to hack this again as well. I'm not going to bother moving international because we know we want to get back into this nanofab anyway. Two turns left on this econ chip, so I'm not going to try to um, hack this immediately. Let's take this now, and this. Are these guys just not moving at all? Are they all stationary? This guy's blocking the door. That's interesting. So these guys are permanently stationary. <laughs> They're trying to patrol through this door, but they can't get there. That does mean that I need some way of getting rid of all of them. I need some way of taking all of them out. If I'm going to get through here. Yeah, these guys just aren't moving permanently. They're permanently not moving. I can at least take out a heart monitor or two. Does also make them quite easy to steal from, so we might do that before we try to take them out. Banks still one turn left on this econ chip. That means I want to... Yeah, let's just take this camera. That will give me 350, so I need 150 more. We've got three guys to steal from. So this should be possible to do. I think on average we're expecting to do it. I could sell the neural dart as well. That would be an option. I can get up to here. So that should be correct. We're still leaving, um... We're still leaving International down there, that's fine. 
I just want this drone to be doing nothing for as long as possible. Firewalls go up. So this guy has no heart monitor. This guy does have a heart monitor, so let's take that out. I should be safe to get into here. I can steal from two. Then when this reboots because of the hacker, I can. Uh, hide here from the camera. So that should be okay. okay let's see how much money I get from this med gel. <laughs> So I can actually take this med gel and sell it, and that does give me enough, but it means I have to go all the way down. I don't think we need this security pass card for anything. Next turn, I can actually zap one of these guards in order to steal from the other one. I think if I zap this one, this one notices, and I zap this one, this one notices. I'm not going to sell the cloaking rig to get the other biogenic dart, that's just not sensible. So this is this is unusual. Normally this guard would get out of the way to let the patrols pass. Oh, I can actually just take this back immediately, can't I? That's a pass card. I take him out here, this guy notices, but I'm not sure if this one does as well. You would expect him to. I could go here, zap this guy next turn, and then steal and get out of the door, use Tony to drag his body. That's one option. I think that's probably the best option we have. So the one benefit of this thing being recaptured every single turn is that we keep getting to, to hack it and use the net downlink. Let's do this. Okay, we know there's a camera here now, that's good to know. Neither of them noticed that, which is odd. But this one will notice it when I do this. To steal. What? Okay, now I have to be very careful because this guy's body needs to get all the way through here. Now I could just distract this guy so he won't see it. Which is probably the good plan. I can pick this up. So how near do I have to get to be heard? I heard something. Yeah, that's fine. So he's going to go down there. That means we are safe to leave the body in the open here. 
That means Tony can actually get it out. We don't need to bring the medgel all the way down to the nanofab because we've dealt with that. You see that? So let's just peek in here. Yeah, there is nothing for us. There won't be a console there, so it's just a matter of actually getting out now. These guys just still doing nothing. <laughs> Can't see the camera trying to hack it. Let's do a running trick here. Something. Keep this guy occupied. Yeah, they're just stuck there. He's trying to go through the door. This guy's not going to let him out. That's really weird. That normally wouldn't happen. Yeah, there's our drone. Must be imagining things. These two really are just stationary, blocking off an empty room. So we have finished everything on the level. Let's just avoid banks being encumbered by taking this off her. And then we should be out next turn. So just in time for alarm level 3. He's all the way down there. I care not. We have stolen from this guy as well. That's fine. Out we go. So this is a complete success. We have all of the money. We got two biogenic darts, which is much more than I was expecting to get from this mission, especially since we came in with no money. Uh, we're leaving with basically no money as well, but that's fine. 